one. Bloop, bloop. It's uh, it's it's your turn. It's, it's your intro. turn. It's, it's episode thirty-four. You get. You oh, get it's evens. my turn. <laughs> oh, hello. Hello. Uh, hello. I I'm I'm a guy, uh, who does what? things on the internet. I thought you were Flor Flor Florgan. Flor Florgan. Florgan McFlorgan. That's that's exactly what I am. I almost said Hello, something. Hello, like... I'm Florg Florg I'm Varg Vikernas, and this is my video on why uh, capitalism is bad. That's a reference to something. Um. Okay. So I'll t I'll, I'll explain the reference because no one will get the reference. <laughs> so, um, one of my good friends, uh, is a huge metalhead, and I'm also a bit of a metalhead, right? I mean, I made a vi video about Metallica, so I'm you a pretty pretty good child. pretty big metalhead. Yeah. Okay. So. Whatever, right? Um, so that's a thing. And uh, but as my my friends and my tastes very much differ. So like I'm more into like thrash metal, like kind of old school stuff. Some some newer stuff, like some oh, it's a pig man. Uh, some <laughs> newer uh, like it, some, some newer stuff, obviously. But like uh, I, I prefer stuff that has more of the old school sound, typically. Uh, not always, but that, that's that's generally generally where my preferences lie. He's that he's super into death and black metal, right? So the stuff is like super growly and it like doesn't even sound like anything, right? Uh -huh. And that, and that's fine. I I can show an appreciation for it because I show appreciation for a lot of the music that I don't I wouldn't say I like, but I can show appreciation for. But one of the big black metal bands was called Mayhem, and they're like the, the one of the first, right? And it's true, like super satanic, like super evil dudes, right? And um, basically, the band stopped making music when one of the band members allegedly killed the other one. Jeez. Like stabbed him to death. That's pretty uh, hardcore. The person who allegedly stabbed the other person to uh -oh. death, his name uh -oh. is Varg Vikernes. And. Um, oh my he, god. Sorry. Yeah. I'm, I'm almost dying again. Okay. It's all good. <sighs> Spiders. Um, I so Varg Vikernes, right? Uh, he he was in prison and he started this other project called Burzum, which is more of like a atmospheric kind of deal. And it, it sounds okay, like it's not it's not my thing once again, but whatever. But either way, uh, he's been out of prison for a long time since then. Mayhem was back in the '90s, right? But Varg Vikernes runs a YouTube channel. Uh, he has a YouTube channel. Uh, it's called the the uh, what is it called? Something about the Thulian something, the Thulian escape, the Thulian principle, something like that. Uh, and he just talks about why capitalism is bad, and he also <laughs> occasionally talks about tabletop RPGs. That that is a very random amount of things. Oh, there's got... so um, so that that's that story. Oh, little pupper, little pupper. Dude. Oh, or how's he doing? New new challenge: kill the Ender Dragon with a pupper. Get the yes, just throw, throw <laughs> pupper. Launch pupper. Direction. Just the, the, like um, like Great. at the end of Minecraft story mode, like get a cannon set up. You know what I'm talking about? Like the end of episode four of oh, Minecraft. Right, right, right. Like uh, get the cannon set up, and then instead of launching the main character, you launch the pupper. That would be amazing. It would be pretty fantastic. I think I went the wrong way. I think I went the wrong Puppy way. Power. I think. I might have gone the wrong way, but we're just what gonna this? keep going this way and see what's up. I know there's a point where I gotta turn inside, uh, but I don't remember where it is. <laughs> you said but. Yeah, I know. I'm 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 a comedy man. Da -da 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 -da. Woo! Okay, it is very. Oh, oh no! no I, I didn't get there yet. I still have to pass this ch this chesty do. That awkward moment when you see a cactus and you think it's a creeper. <laughs> nice job. So, um, uh, assuming, right, that um, I get this footage to you in a timely manner, which, that's, <laughs> right? a, that's, a, that's a whole other conversation. Um, this, the Sunday that this is out, because this comes out on Sundays, Maybe, typically, hopefully. regularly, um, yes. uh I, I will be at SGDQ. I'll be at the last. Well, actually, SGDQ will have ended by this point because it ends at like 1 a.m. on a Sunday. Because they, mm -hmm, it's, mm -hmm. uh, but I will be there, and that'll be fun. Wait, um, which it, which stands for what? Speed right A summer game. A summer Dang. games done quick. <laughs> so like you know, right. AGDQ is awesome games done quick. Right, right, right. But, so, but you know, SGDQ doesn't care about whether the games are awesome or not. They just care that you're. It's in the summer, so it's just mm -hmm. summer games done quick. You know. 
Okay, I definitely made a wrong turn somewhere in here. Like ninety percent sure I made a wrong turn. Oh, maybe not. I believe in you. Once I find the, the oh yes 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 yeah yes I'm I'm not sure. I've seen so many witches. A witch's teeth. Like, I always remember the beginning and end of this path, but I don't remember any of the middle bits. Oh, you're trying to get back to your stuff in the nether, I'd imagine? Yeah, I'm I'm fairly certain this is the right way, though. But, like, the entire audience... Nope, this is definitely not the right way. And then the audience screams at me, but that was the right way, and you'll figure it out in, like, 20 minutes. <laughs> Probably. You gotta, like, leave markers or something. Look, look, you know, normally there it's like go. with the whole versus formula, it's like, you know, you got to root for someone. You're like, oh, Jesus. which team do you think is going to win? Look, look, if you if you if you if you're still rooting for me, like, give up. <laughs> hey, man, <laughs> so you got to have faith in something, you know, and stuff. Jeez, there's so many scary ass skeletons. Leave me alone, skeletons. Oh, my God. Spooky, scary skeletons. I play that song. I play that song in a stream for like thirty seconds, and I and I still got a copy or not. Uh, I still got dinged. It's very you got like a this. content ID thing. Yeah, content ID. That's terrible. Hi, 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 still, come still bitter about that South Park video being. Yeah, I, I would be too. I I, the, I looked into the copyright appeal system more because the YouTube has changed it fairly uh -huh. recently. I'm not like like when we last recorded it was the same as it is now but like right yeah you know fairly recently, recently it was changed mm -hmm. um the way it works is you get a content id claim or whatever and this and then the claimant uh you know whatever they want happens to your video so that could be uh you know that could be they make money from it that could oh, be shit. a lot of different things in viacom's case it's obviously the video is no longer playable on youtube mm -hmm. um then what you do is you dispute the claim, which is what I already done, right? I, I did that. And you dispute, and you're like, this is why I dispute it. And then they're like, no. Okay. So then you're like, no. Okay, what happens next? Then you can appeal it. And I haven't appealed yet because I thought, right, uh, my thought, I thought that the response to an appeal could be that they could sue you. The actual answer is that if you appeal and they say, no, you're wrong, then you get a, a copyright strike on your channel. Yeah. Which is still bad. Yeah. Don't don't get me wrong. That's still bad because the thing is, is it should be it shouldn't be purely the content holders' duty Definitely, to determine yeah. whether it's like whether it's right or wrong because they're obvious like unless they have a reason to say no or unless they're just like nice people, uh, mm -hmm. you know they're probably gonna say uh, we're right. Yep. Pretty much. Uh, just, unless it's like very if obvious. If they're wrong, then that's bad publicity for them, right? Uh -huh. So. Uh, that's already, that's still bad. But then what happens is then you, what you could do is you get a copyright strike. Then you can submit a counter notification. This is step three of the appeals process. Oh my God. And this is finally where I didn't know this. This is finally where YouTube actually could get involved. And I'm like, whoa, huh. YouTube actually steps in against copyright. I didn't know that, that was a, uh, <laughs> cause I, I haven't gotten this far. Uh, and I haven't oh. personally experienced it. Um, but the, the catch, if you will, to mm -hmm. this is that, um, the copyright holder, the the person who's you know making this claim, will get some of your personal information because they they need to contact you for whatever legal reason. Right. Because right. when you submit a counter notification, that's a legal document at that point. Mm -hmm. So uh, that that's the catch. So the problem is is uh, there was an issue I want to say a few weeks ago where this this musician named Alex Maurer, uh, she made the music for this indie game or whatever, and a bunch of people let's played it and covered it and all this good stuff. But uh, she had a dispute with the developer and started, like, copyright claiming, like, infinite amount wow. of videos in this game, right? Um, and the music belongs to the developer. Like, contractually, she's not... Mm -hmm. she's, like, she's just completely wrong, right? Yeah. But the concern was is that if people were submitting counter notifications, then this person who, um, uh, it, according to news stuff... It could have some mental stability issues, right? right. Um, it has the personal information of random YouTubers. Wow. So that's not good. No. So, so yeah. uh, it's a lose-lose situation. That's, yeah, that definitely uh, sucks. 
So what have you been up to, Chris? What's up? Oh, what's um, up? What have, what have you been? What have you been doing? What have you been playing? Well, I ordered a 3DS capture card, Ooh. and um, it was initially, it was like I thought I could get it for like two hundred dollars, which is a little bit steep. And I've been waiting a long time till I like you know save up for it, have all this money put aside, and then um, turned out the guy that sells it for two hundred dollars only does the original 3DS. I have the new 3DS XL. So I was like, ah, oh, crap. But then I found another guy. It cost like an extra $50. I was like, ah, okay, that's a little more steep. So at this point, it's $250. And I'm like, okay. So I like, you know, I, I go to buy. I, I do, I put all my details and all that. And right as I click confirm, I realize, oh, crap, this is in USD. So in Canadian dollars, it came out to around $360 in some odd sense. So I spent a lot more than I wanted to on it. But so... Um, yeah, so because I... Because the have... original guy who made the 3DS capture boards, they still only does it for the original 3DS. Yep, yep. Like, he doesn't do it for any other ones. But Correct. then there's, like, I think the other one is Katsu Kitty or something like yeah, that. Yeah, that's, that's the one I ordered from. Yeah, he he's in Japan. Mm-hmm, so that's gotta... That has to be sent out. And, uh, it's been a bit complicated trying to send it out as well, since, um, I went to send it today, and my, uh, the, uh, the post office I brought it to seemed kind of suspicious about it. So they, they wanted me to confirm with uh, the guy, like, he has a certain, um, a code, a UPS code, I guess. Otherwise, my package could get lost forever, and, like, what kind of code it is, I suppose. So mm. it's just been super complicated. And, well, uh... international shipping has <laughs> always been weird. Like, I remember, yeah. um, I remember I used to have a Dazzle capture card. It's what I used with yep, some of my old here. best plays, like, uh, Kirby's Return to Dreamland was the one that I did. With the Dazzle, and it was really not good. I did Pac-Man World 2 on the Dazzle, too, I believe. Right, um, Dazzle. But uh, that was a long time ago. Um, but either way, uh, I haven't talked to him in a, quite a long time, actually. Uh, but uh, Yasin, whose YouTube channel may still exist. I haven't <laughs> checked in a while. Somewhere Retro there. Gamer Guardian 90. Uh, I, I offered to send him my Dazzle because it was like, it, it was like, oh, you know, I'm not using it anymore. And, like, I don't mm-hmm. have any use for it. So what, you know, what the heck, why not? Um, so I sent it to him, but I go to the post office and it's like, it's like, whoa, like, that's weird. You're sending things internationally. Like you're just sending this yep. and what is it? And I'm like, well, it's, it's kind of a camera, but it's more, it's more of like a video. It's like a, like, it was kind of hard to explain. You know what I mean? It's not a yeah. camera and there's like check boxes, you know? So it's like, well, what is it? Like, so I, I kind of did explain. my best to explain and they were like, okay, I would check this box and blah, blah, blah. And then they charge me a certain amount for it based on what the device was, and there's all this other stuff like mm-hmm. it's not a bomb, or, you know, something Pretty crazy. Much. Is this a bomb? Oh, it just, it just, yes. it just. I could see that on the <laughs> form. Is this a bomb? And then you check either yes or no. Mm-hmm. I just want someone to like check the third option of oh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Unsure, maybe. Unsure, maybe. Okay, I I really screwed this one up like big time. What, did you go the wrong way? Yeah, completely. Oh, you silly lad. And I, now you can't even find the way back, so it's like, oh, wow. boy. I don't know. I don't know what to do, Matt. Should, should I go for... Should I go... I, I could maybe fight the Ender Dragon, but I'm scared. I'm scared. Well, what is that the only thing you have left to do? Pretty much. Instead of, like... I, I, I don't want to go there underprepared, because fighting the Ender Dragon is bloody terrifying and difficult. Okay, well, I'm just going to die to this gas and restart over because I have enough iron to deal with it. Oh, no. um, boom. And. Boom, shackle, lack. Boom. Oh, yeah, I'm dead. Okay. Hmm. Um, so. Do I have melons? Because I thought you still needed ender pearls, right? I think I have enough. I don't actually remember how many we needed, but I have nine. That should be enough, I think. So if I, oh, actually, I have go eight. for it, dude. Actually, yeah, that I'm pretty sure that it, that is good. Yes, but I don't want to go all the way over there, only to find out. Oops! Turns out I was underprepared, and then just well, die go. And what sad. I would do is go <laughs> over by there, right, and then make a little house hut. Yeah. And then you'll just be close by if you die, and then you can. That's it, true. Or, or the other option is here's the other option. You know, you got a little nether portal in your house, right? Mm-hmm. You, you, then, then what you do is you gotta do some math in your head, in your little head brain. Oh, be like, okay, how far do I need to walk in the nether to appear in a portal relatively that's, close by? That's actually really smart. I should actually I have I have that screenshot somewhere. I'm actually going to do because that. Because 
Yeah, because then what you do is then you just build another portal in the nether when you get there. Mm -hmm. And then you appear there, and then you just build your little hut around there. And then that way, you can just conveniently walk back to your original house hut place and go oh. and, and then search around there for more ender pearls or armor or enchantments and all that good stuff. You're a smart cookie. Yeah, I'm smart when I'm, like, good at games. It's just <laughs> that I'm not good at this game. Apparently not. And for all of you wondering what we'll do next, we have no idea, but... I will tell you this. Terraria is not an option. Not because I'm bad Aww. at it. Not because I'm bad at it. But because I'm worried that kind of like this, it'll be like I'll get lost and it'll be like or confused or like we'll, something. We'll both get lost. Yeah, and it'll just be nah. Oh, so yeah. definitely going back to the world of like maybe like 3D platforming or like a beat 'em up or something like that. We we have a few games we're tossing around before recording this. Right ho. I got to figure out I don't um, I don't know where the screenshot is as it turns out. Well, that would be problematic even when you're trying to like get there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I I have it somewhere. Please. I wouldn't randomly delete it. Okay, I'm seeing season three for unoriginal. Oh, I found it! I think. Worst case, go scrubbing back to those old it. episodes, Scrubbo. I don't want to do that. Oh, no. Right beside this screenshot of a, another thing is a very similar screenshot, except it's very clearly on unoriginal craft. But I don't think I would take a picture of another portal. Okay, that has to be it. That has to be it. Okay, I got it. I'm going to write it in here. So I don't forget. Watch those be the wrong numbers. They, they very well could be. Um, and then that one. Good, I did it all by myself. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh god, how do I turn this off? I, I did. I did. Were you aware that there's like a uh, mode that may like a cinematic mode in Minecraft? Yes. I don't, I don't know. Want I don't know how I turned it on, but now F I don't know how to turn it on. Six F, something I, like that. I press all. Oh, oh, I just. Oh no, I hit F eleven. That that's not the button. Shockingly enough, I don't know how to turn this off. I think it's F six. Oh god. Okay, I just I just exploded. There we go. I just broke OBS by accidentally hitting F eleven, but it's fixed now. Oh no. Everything everything's still recording and all that. We don't yes. have to. We don't have to 3D world race this joint and <laughs> no, make no. references to whether no. we're recording or not in the recording. OBS is nice that it that it continues recording regardless of oh, what hey. you do unless it breaks. Oh, hey, on this episode of Infrequently Asked Questions, uh, anyone wondering where that race is on my channel? No? Okay. Uh, it'll <laughs> eventually. Eventually. I don't know. I think I have to restart the game. I'm just going to restart the game now. Okay. <clears throat> or just quit the game and reopen it. Yeah. There's definitely a I button for it. It's like one, I think I thought it was one of the function keys, but I guess I could be wrong. That, that hit all of them, including the F11 that I very obviously should have avoided. <clears throat> um, yeah. Hey. Okay, it's definitely, definitely, you go to the stone bit here, but then I don't know. I, I feel like I got to keep following the torches. I feel like that's what I got to do, but then that let me astray last time. Austri. Yeah, I mean, you were definitely wandering around for quite a while on that day or nader. Oh, God. <clears throat> so, I remember, dude. like an idiot, I <clears throat> I wrote down the coordinates in the game, and now that I exit out, I no longer have those coordinates. I closed the stupid image. Of course. It's a horse, of it's course. It's not here. It's not that. That's definitely not it. It's not here. It's not there. It's not on uh, underwear. Um, okay, it's over here. Oh, there we go. I found it. We did it. Together. Found. So, what else is going on? Um, I have a Nintendo Switch now. I mean, I uh, it may or may not have been obvious. Actually, no. Oh, yeah. It would have been that. obvious if you watched the Mario video, or at least, because I was holding uh, it in the what? video. Oh, yeah, you were, weren't you? I was going to say. Self-promo awesome. You even got the cool multicolored one. I didn't want the multicolored <coughs> one, dude. I wanted yeah. the gray one, but like, that was the deal. It was you got the Switch and you got the Zelda, and then you got the um. Coffee and I got played. a little convenient carrying case that I'm gonna be using when I go to SGDQ. 
Have you played Zelda yet? Oh yeah, I've played plenty, a tons of it. You're, you're enjoying it? Uh, I enjoy it. I have some problems with it, but I enjoy <gasps> it. How dare you? That game is perfect in every single way. Obviously. Just like every <laughs> Zelda game when it's released and everyone says it's 10 out of 10. And then a year later, they're like, nah, it's not 10 out of 10. That's very true. I don't know. I don't feel like that's going to happen with this one, but who knows? Um, I'm going to go over there this time. Okay, cool. Um, I, I do think that this the, this Zelda game's reputation will be similar to Ocarina in that it'll be like hailed as I like sure really good so. for a long, long time. Um, when when booting it up for the DLC for the first time in like a couple months, I immediately was like, "Oh my god, I missed this so much, a lot more than I thought I did." Yeah, but, I, I have I'm some issues boy. with it, but like <laughs> unlike The Wind Waker, where I literally played it and I didn't like it, just yeah. plain like you know, like I enjoyed this game, so that's right. progress. I mean, and I, I could... like the uh, the other game, Zelda game I really like is the Link Between Worlds. So, mm -hmm. so any to... games like that, I'll take. Yeah, I have to I have Main... to delve into more of the two D Zelda games. I haven't really played a whole lot of those, or like the, the... handheld ones, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, the I... main issue with uh, Breath of the Wild is honestly just like the um, the healing and combat stuff. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I, I I do agree with the the eating thing where you just pause in the middle of any everything. Yeah, it's just like you pause and you just full heal, and the enemies can never one shot you. It's impossible for an enemy to one yep. shot you. They'll bring you to one quarter health, mm -hmm. regardless, yep. right? So you just pause the game, you go to full health, and then you keep playing with no consequences. It's like okay, well maybe you'll eventually run out of food, but like there's a lot of freaking food in this game. So. Right. <laughs> also, I'm. Um mildly disappointed with the final boss i haven't gotten there yet but mm. i've i've, I've no seen spoilers. it i know what right. it is okay uh and i understand why you would say that have you like seen the fights or have you yes. just like seen screenshots okay now here's my question is do, do you dislike the entire boss or just the end of the final boss um i just kind of wish there was more i guess and maybe maybe more difficulty i mean i i love the design I thought the design was cool as hell, but, uh, yeah, I kind of wish there was more to it than that. I was hoping more for a Twilight Princess long fight than... Well, the crazy thing one. is, isn't it, like, and I don't, I mean, if you consider this spoilers, then uh, mute the video for exactly 10 seconds, but it's like Okay, hold on, hold on, before we do that, it, we're at 22 minutes, so if you're not interested in that, you could just stop this video right now, because we're going to end that. Yeah, okay, end the episode this thought, right and today. then we'll end the video, there we go. Spoiler. Um, isn't it like, isn't it like the four guardian dudes kill him to half health? And Correct. it's like, and it's like, if you took the time to go and kill the four guardians, then you'd be like stronger than him, so why would they cut him down to half health? That would make, it's like... It's like the game's already easier, and then it's just like, oh, it's right. making the game even easier than easy. That's that's dumb. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's definitely like kind of like the catch twenty two because you have to get some reward for doing the dungeons, but I like, or I guess they could have just had it so you have to do the four dungeons. But I, I really like the whole idea of. I like um, the idea of you don't have to, choice, but I think right. the reward like it should be like, oh, if you don't fight, if you don't go and free the divine beast, then you have to fight the Ganon before the big Ganon. Yeah, I guess they could have done. Or, yeah. how about this, or maybe they'd have to improve the combat system for this, but what if it's like you're fighting all the Ganons at the same time? Oh, snap. Yeah, somebody did you hear that. all the Ganons at the same time, and it's like, well, that's hard. That would be all pretty Ganons. hard. Holy so, crap, that was actually a really good idea. Um, yeah, I guess the only other thing maybe... Oh, god damn, I, I forgot what I was going to say. No! I okay, lost well, it! We'll, we'll, see you. <laughs> we'll see you next time. Bye, I'll everybody. Out, I'll find my way eventually. Thank you for watching. Bye.